Hello, everybody. Welcome to a Wednesday Lunch Live Sketch. My name is Frank Summers. We have Halloween around the corner, so I wanted to draw a Halloween-themed uh, sketch this week. I wanted to do Dracula. Why not? I think the character design challenge um, that you can find on Twitter and elsewhere is also doing vampires. So I just, I, shush it yourself. Shush yourself. Actually, while this is up, I'm going to probably check my audio really quickly. Skip my ad. Sounds good. So if you're new to the Wednesday Lunch Live Sketch, what we do is we pick a topic every week. We do it for 25 minutes. We try and go as far as we can go. Uh, so why don't I hop on into Photoshop, and I'm going to start my timer. Hey, Cortana, set an alarm for 25 minutes. OK, sounds good. I guess I should bring my audio up a little bit so I can hear it. And what we're going to do is start drawing here. So we wanted to do something. I have an idea already in my head of what I'd like to do. So let's see what we can pull out here. Thanks for joining, joining the stream, folks. My opacity is down here. And again, if you're just joining, we're going to be sketching up a vampire for today's, today's live sketch. Uh, let's see what we can come up with. Let's see. I have a bit of an idea already of what I'd like to do. Uh, so let's get a jaw shape in here. I want to keep him pointy and bony. And here's a cranium. I'm thinking I have him, you know, given the old flash in the fangs kind of thing. Uh, and keep him somewhat cartoony. Uh, keep him fun. Did not have my lunch yet, so I'm hungry and cranky. Keep him pointy. And you're know, doing the thing where the head is kind of rolled back, you know what I mean? So he's kind of. Bearing his fangs. And I need to exaggerate the jaw shape a little more. It's been a little while since I've been able to crank out a, a live sketch, so let's see what we can come up with. Been busy with other projects. Uh, the nose I want to have like more bony and maybe even upturned slightly. So let's think about the shape of that and how it would sit on his face. And let's just mass in where I think it should fit. So, you know, something like that. And then we have the teeth. So let's just get in where the teeth would be because uh, it's, it looks really nice. Gotta fix my eraser. Oh god, it's huge, no wonder. Let's pull it down a little bit. It looks like a really nice piece of hardware, the Surface Studio. Uh, I'm working on a 27 inch Cintiq. And I mean, just the thinness of the screen, and even forget about the fact that it has a computer inside of it. You know what I mean? So let's think about this shape here, the brows. Let's kind of um, conceptualize this a little more. That's kind of um. Here's the bridge of our nose, and maybe it's a little protrudes a bit more like this. Something along those lines. And let's pull this shape out a little more. Maybe this is too much. You know, a lot of it's pushing and pulling, right? Maybe I have it too far. A lot of it is a 
thinking about what you the intention of what I'm trying to put down on uh, paper. And then bouncing around and seeing how it reflects. Elsewhere. Let's give him like a big crazy collar. And I won't go beyond this part. I'll stay. Stay up here. We'll crop around here somewhere. Try and get the impression that the eyeballs are sitting sitting in within that skull of his. Here we are. And the brow can be an overlapping shape to the bridge of the nose. Maybe let's bring this up a little higher. It's part of the nose right here. And construct this. Maybe pull the jaw a little more taut. Here's our cheek. We can go straight, run straight. There we are. A little bit of a weighted curve here. We can break, the line can break and go straight. Yeah, the uh, surface the surface studio was a pretty cool pretty cool announcement. Let's sweat this cheekbone a little more. I mean it's steep, that's for sure, but it is certainly it's catering to a different audience. I mean you may look at it in bulk at the price and you wouldn't be incorrect in assuming that that is an expensive chunk of hardware, but my biggest concern is like if it breaks, if it goes down, like your your components are all inside it. It's if any if with any all-in-one system, if anything breaks or goes down, you don't really have much of a recourse. At least with like a Cintiq, your screen is a Uh, like a separate component, you know, it could be the same. Could be true of anything. If a hard if a hard drive goes down, or 
I don't know, so your RAM decides to crap the bed on you, you know, you can easily replace those parts, but... You know, in a, in a professional environment, you know, that's kind of important, that kind of stuff. So if something goes down, you know, you can, you're not you're not able to produce. That's the kind of stuff that scares me with any kind of, all, you know, all-in-one machine. Let's do the old zoom out trick. Oh, he's pretty small in frame. We can probably scale him up a little bit when we go into cleanup. We can get a little more play out of it. Do the old flipperoo. Yeah, I don't like what I did with the burrow over here. We can pull it back. Nope, don't like that either. You know, a lot of it when you're doing design is trying different things and exhausting possibilities. I mean, like I wanted this part to be bony, but maybe I'm making it too, it's too much. I mean, I could counter it by giving a bigger cheekbones. Keeping the jaw the same. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes the more you noodle with something. Let's leave that for alone for now, I suppose. And this can be adjusted over here. Some sort of brooch. Start getting into the business of the teeth here. Eye teeth would be around here. Let's play them a little thinner than what I initially had them at.
right, now let's revisit the brow again up here. Let's try something like that. Now, one thing I'm not happy with is this brow, this screen, in this case, screen right brow. So let's just take it out of the equation for now. construct how I think it would exist on the cranium. idea to save every once in a while, huh? Uh, let's just call it live sketch 44, round 44. Let's stop for now. Save, guys, save. Save and save often. So why don't we flip him back? Let's take a peek. Uh, it's getting, getting there. What can we push? We push and pull. I can push this, this part just a little bit. And this can be the form that's sitting over top of the shape that we just kind of built up. And let's fix the shape of this brow a little bit more. And let's push and pull this around a little bit. And maybe we can make these eyeballs a little more spherical, a little more bulging. Let's fix them a little bit. There we go. And let's keep this tapering in here intact. All right, we got something going on here. So why don't we do the next thing? We can make another layer. Hello. Pull this layer down. And what we can do next is start to tie down a little bit. And I'm going to pull the flow on this brush up a little bit. And that's better, a little less. Uh, yeah, I like that. Now let's kind of really try to find How this thing fits together.
There we are. Eric in the YouTube chat says hello. How are you, Eric? Hope you're well. What are you up to today? Get this lid properly in there. My brain is kind of working overtime right now, trying to make sure I get these sitting in there. Okay, this is getting a little busy in this area, so let's make sure we have our overlaps properly. Oh, my alarm, let's snooze it. Squeeze another 10 more minutes out here. Halloween is rapidly approaching and I feel like I am extremely behind. I am lacking a costume right now. I have an idea. It's just a matter of pulling it off. Let's get this nice and straight. These are straights with hard angles to them. I think we can probably adjust this a little bit. Peak. Let's 
fix this. Shamar Williams in the YouTube chat, looking great so far. Thank you. Thank you for coming. And let's trim this up like this. Fix up this chin here a little bit. I want this to be very angular. And I'm still kind of on the fence with this brooch. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with it. Let's see. Save. Something like that. Alrighty. Kind of want this to be a little more pointed right here. So let's see what we can do. A little bit of a point right here and then it comes into a nice curve the base of the head bit of a curve right here and these are all sharp right here exit save and why don't we just splash in some color, see what we can come up with. Uh, save again. So let's just do, ba, ba, ba. let's make that a little bigger. And for his skin, let's go greenish, grayish. Something like that. Um, can I cheat a little bit here? Let me see. Mm, I don't know if I can cheat. What I was thinking about doing a magic wand. There we go. Let's splash some color into this guy. Pretty broad brush for now. And I think I got like maybe, yeah, I probably should get back to work soon here. My lunch time is about up. So let's just, let's just work his face at least. Let's just try and get that done at least.
clean up some of this stuff. All right, we can get a little bit of yellow in the eyes, go more white. Sample this, go a little darker in his nostrils. No, let's try that again. And for the interior of his mouth, it's kind of like go something kind of gross, more brown. Try that. See how that works. And I need to get his teeth in, then I think I'll probably just call it. Maybe these teeth are probably a little regular. I don't know. And I'm not entirely thrilled with this brown. I probably should make it a little more red. Go for the tongue. I mean, I'm trying to pick gross colors, you know, I'm, I'm uh, pushing his undeadness. All right, and we can grab some white here for the collar. Save, keep saving. Uh, let's just dismiss. Okay. What I'll do is make another layer, maybe a clipping mask, uh, and pick something like this. I barely see it. Oh, it's a clipping mask, that's why. Let's try that to put this on multiply. Pull the pull it down. And maybe I'll use a Mary Blair brush. Let's see. Blair 70, I think. Try and block in some some of the planes of his face. Let's undo that.
Uh, let's try this. Yeah, the entirety of his head is probably in shadow. All right. All right, maybe that'll do it for now. Let's put some tone on the back of these. And again, I'm really just cheating. This is a cheating, <laughs> just using the, uh, the multiply technique just to get what we were looking for. Um, so I think that's going to wrap it up for now. I thank you guys very much for joining me today. You're going to see some links in front of you. Why don't you click one of that, that uh, subscribe button to keep up with me on my YouTube channel. Uh, I try to do the Wednesday Lunch Lab Sketch every Wednesday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Uh, thank you very much for joining me, guys, and you all have a great week. Take care.